What is going on guys? So today I have a very special deck and that deck is Demir Mill. So I've been playing Demir Mill for about two years now. The deck has been awfully close to tier one. It's been like tier two for a very long time, but now I feel like it's broken into tier one with the help of having access to eight crabs right you got rune crab and hedron crab hedron crab has been around since i first started playing in zendikar but the card that really took it to the next love level was tasha's hideous laughter with the format becoming closer and closer to legacy um the curve the mana curves become less and less and a lot of these luris decks cannot handle tasha's hideous laughter which exiles cards um, until you hit 20 or more mana. And when you're playing Luris, you have to play two or less, so you're able to easily hit 20 cards. Um, I The max I've been able to hit is 29, which is you know half of someone's library, which is absolutely insane for a card to be able to do. Not only does it do that, it avoids... Um, getting getting uh, getting like basically hit by uh a veil of summer and the white ley line and i think that is like an important trait for this deck to have to make it to that next level so fractured sanity kind of does the same thing and so does rune crab uh so you don't like completely get hosed by a specific uh sideboard hate card um but yeah so with eight crabs and having visions of beyond your own ancestral um fatal push because you gotta deal with the monkey now you have counter spells so having access to like eight premium counter spells um slash removal spells is absolutely insane mesmeric orb just in case you mulligan you have like this um engine that's gonna eventually end the game crypt incursion like helps you deal with like main deck emrakul but also puts you at a life total that like your opponent most opponents can't deal with we know the classic archive trap and then fracture sanity nice free cycling effect also mills for 14 which helps you get to that visions of beyond numbers mana base is quite simple you got your field of ruin um obero because it works so well with the crab um looking at the sideboard in the sideboard we got like a damnation uh another crypt incursion collective brutality to deal with that burn matchup cling for the extra graveyard hate that that also is like uh, a nice little value engine surgical for graveyard cards that you can't deal with profane memento really helps you in the burn slash uh prowess matchups you just gain a ridiculous amount of life and then soul guide lantern another graveyard hate extravagant card that pairs well with luris as well um but yeah deck is quite simple has been around for a while but now i believe it's definitely tier one so let's jump into some games and see how it does all right we're here for game one on the play reveal our luris let's see what we got we got a super solid hand with crab ancestral counter spell and push and we're on the play beautiful we'll keep we'll shock And we'll pass it along. Our opponent also uh, revealed Kahira, probably the elemental stack. I think this deck should be quite easy to beat, especially if they don't have a one drop. We'll go ahead and mill them. I'm gonna go ahead and fetch now. I'm just gonna grab an island. Yep, they are definitely playing elementals. And uh, 
I mean, we got Counterspell ready to go. And or push. <laughs> Collecting pool. Sure, they got access to all colors. This is a uh, easy counter spell. Chalice on zero. Oh, that's totally fine. That's an incredible draw. We'll mill them. Go ahead and pass the turn back. They're at 10 cards. Uh, Unsettled Mariner doesn't really matter here. We're just going to go ahead and push it. Go ahead and fetch mill. Got 14 cards. Drew another crab. We hit 20 cards. We'll go ahead and draw three. Um, since we have counterspell plus drown, I'm gonna wait on this mesmeric orb. I feel pretty safe here as long as I leave open counter spell. Alright, cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and cycle. Mill them for four. Hopefully we'll hit another fetch land. We hit regular land. We hit fetch land. Mill them for another million. We'll go ahead and play a Mesmeric Orb. Leave open the counter spells, the Drown and Lock, the Fracture Sanity. Opponent is completely toast. Down to 18 cards. Unless they have Emrakul, we've got basically everything covered. I don't really care about this. It's honestly helping me. This is something I care about though. fantastic they're virtually at 13 cards oh they do have endurance in their deck so definitely gotta just leave open counter spell for endurance specifically that is something I really got to be careful of. So if that's the case, I'm going to bring in Soul Guide Lantern so I can just exile their graveyard. Also bring in the Crypt Incursion. The Tasha's Hideous Laughter is actually not great. And I'm down to cut... Uh, a counter spell. Yeah, I feel comfortable. Something like this. So we bring in Soul Guide Lanterns, Damnation. The reason why we're bringing in the Soul Guide Lantern is mainly so we can exile their graveyard 
in response to the endurance. And Tasha's is bad because their curve is so high, it goes up to five. And uh, they also have Omnath, so uh, a ton of fours. Seems like a clean hand will keep. No one drop, that's quite awkward, but the fact that we have Field of Rune plus Archive Trap, that put, makes me confident in our position. They just go get a Jeskai land. Voice of Resurgence. Sure, that makes my counter spells a lot worse. Ooh, that is a very interesting draw. We will be cycling the Fractured Sanity. Not very happy about it, but it is what it is. Go ahead and cycle this. That's pretty good. It's also pretty good. That's a lot of creatures. Clock is quite slow, so I'm not very worried about what's going on. That's gonna be super annoying. I'll give them a bunch of tokens. Because it's not going to let me archive trap, it's not going to let me crypt incursion, it's not going to let me do anything. Again, I really hope they don't have endurance. Oh, they do, don't they? Oh, so brutal. I was just gonna crypt incursion them out of the game. It's okay though. We'll, we'll make it happen again. It's 
gonna put this in my hand. So, okay, so if they're able to get through here, then that would kill me. Take the nine. Oh, I'm not sure. So if I wipe the board, they're going to be left with one still. It's going to be awkward. So we'll get rid of one of the voices. But that's really bad for me because I'm still going to wipe the board. And all they need is an elemental. Kill me. They just need one more creature to kill me. Any creature. I think I'm going to cut counter spells all together. I want to bring in a bunch of profane mementos. The reason why I want to bring in a bunch of profane mementos is because I think I can get to a high enough life total that I don't have to really worry about what our opponent is doing. Definitely going to keep this hand. Go ahead and shock. Slam a crab. Pass the turn. I expect a land and a pass. Okay, never mind. A foundation breaker, for sure. I think that was incorrect. I think I should have played all of them. I missed out on three cards. Makes me feel kind of bad. I think in my head I was thinking I was very strongly thinking I'm gonna play the Mesmeric Orb, but that just was never the correct play. Mirror Orb. Pass the turn back. I really wish we drew a land there. But when we do draw the land, it's going to be pretty epic. Mm. 
Risen Reef. Could care less. I was so scared of a fury. Let's go. Alright, we'll start off with Profane Memento. So we'll save. Nice. Nice, nice. I still don't want to uh, fatal push anything. Nothing seems like it's worth it. All right, we're up to 21. Profane Memento has gained us five life already. It's not worth blocking all of them. But if I block like this, then they can deal one, one, two. So it's only worth blocking the voice. So we take two, we go to 19, still at a super healthy life total. Chalice on two. Don't really care about a Chalice on two. We mill a card. I mean, they have to mill a lot of cards. That's a good draw. Could have also put Luris in my hand. Could have also put Luris in my hand, but they're about to mill seven cards. I mean, that could potentially be 14, 14 life, could be. And anyway, now we're just at the point where we're just gaining so much life that it's going to be tough for them to present lethal. They're just going to have to be endurancing constantly. All right, they're down to 14 cards. That's one mill spell. Sure. That is completely fine with me. We've been gaining so much life that we could kind of set up this engine and do this kind of forever. Still kind of scared of Fury. This is my best way of playing around it. So we'll take two. Untap. We'll mill a card. We'll draw a card. That's absolutely fantastic. We can now put Luris in our hand.
Where are the... <laughs> our life total is so high. Not to mention that our fatal push can gain us even more life than we already have. Put this Lurus in our hand. We mailed a Soul Guide Lantern. That's absolutely fantastic for us. And they're about to untap with how many cards? Eight. That's... This is about to be really rough for them. We're at 50. We're at 50. Basically, are going to mill them like twice over. Only thing worth blocking. We'll go to 45. Safiri. Yep. As expected, I'm going to lose probably Rune Crab plus Hedron Crab, which is completely fine. We have the Luris in hand. I'll start off by drawing. They have another endurance. They are more than welcome. Alright, those are some pretty great draws. off So now if they have the endurance, we can just bait it out because we're just going to put it, put them down to zero by casting this archive trap. And even if they had the endurance, um, they would probably let all these cards hit the bin. We'd archive trap again after that and just go to such a high life total that it'd be hard for them to deal enough damage. Well, that was the match. Um, as you can see, the the deck has gained enough tools to like not lose to like these creature strategies, right? That was elementals, but it could be humans, um, and it kind of plays out very similarly. Profane Memento is one of those cards that like puts you really over the top against some of your really bad matchups, like Burn, and yeah i mean the deck is super resilient to any type of hate um l like we saw in that last match uh endurance is definitely a really tough card to beat but we kind of changed up our strategy and our thought process in the middle of that match to um combat their strategy and we're basically able to mill them fully two times um but yeah that's it for this video and I will be back next time. Um, make sure you subscribe if you're not subscribed. And check the description for the sideboard guide. And uh, until next time. Thanks.